We are backstage at the world's most famous arena, and Jared, you rose to the occasion here, and this, this is an incredible venue for combat sports. Were you thinking about that during fight week, about the things that have happened here at the arena? Absolutely. Uh, who, whose mind wouldn't that cross, you know? A lot of the greats have come in here and, and um, you know, did their, did their thing. And uh, it's just a blessing that I get the opportunity to do the same. Yeah, and you know, you got the call up. You were originally fighting in Argentina. Mm -hmm. and then they called you here to step in, face David Branch on the pay-per-view. A couple of weeks earlier, like we just spoke about, you said you would have been uh, ahead of schedule for your weight cut, but this was your middleweight debut. Um, in terms of how you planned the weight cut and how you actually felt on Friday, what was that like for you? Um, well, as far as the weight cut, I usually leave it in the hands of my wife. You know, she cooks all the food, and my coaches, of course, they, you know, they have the training program. So uh, I just show up, I pick up the fork, and I eat. You know, I complain a lot. You know, all these vegetables. You know, I want some fried chicken or something like that. But um, you know, it is what it is. And um, again, I'm a professional. It's easy to do the hard work for me. So it's just another day in the office. You've got a great lady behind you if she's making all your meals like yeah. that. Let's talk about David Branch. He's obviously a, a tough veteran. You know, he's been around the sport for a long time. Very talented fighter. Going into this, what did you think your biggest challenges would be? Definitely his grappling. You know, he's a Henzo Gracie black belt, an accomplished wrestler. You know, so um, that was um, the more main thing. His biggest threat, I, I believe, against me. Usually when I step into the octagon, people, you know, they have to wrestle. Either that or get knocked out. Um, so... <clears throat> Luckily, I got the knockout. Yeah, you certainly got, did. I'm sorry. I got yeah. wrestled a little bit, you know, but I showed the world that, you know, I can handle a wrestler. You know, I can get back up. I can stuff some takedowns, and uh, I can land some good shots. Yeah, land those good shots you did. You ended it in the second round. Middleweight debut, but it was a huge statement to the division. I know that you were intently watching the Jacare and Weidman fight. Um, when would you like to fight next? Is there an ideal candidate for who you would like to have as your next opponent? No, I don't call out. You know, fighters, you know, I'll leave that up to the matchmakers, coaches, managers. I'm just here to fight. Um, I, on the way into the octagon, I did pull a little stunt, you know, uh, Israel Adesanya. You know, he, you know, he calls him, you know, he likes to all over the cage, you know. I caught a whiff of it. Uh, when the big dog comes in, you know, I got to mark my territory as well. So, uh, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, he should be next, but whatever, you know, whoever, whatever, whenever, it's on. What a fun middleweight division right now. Jared, what an impressive performance by you. Congratulations on that big victory. Thank you. Thanks.